Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to keep working on our workspace here, also our site and our hub. And if you recall, again, the workspace, think of it as a big container. Here is your workspace here. We put one theme into that workspace, and we looked at the templates a little bit. But inside of your workspace is your main site, which is what you see on the screen, and we set up a bunch of stuff on that in the last video. But also inside of there is your blog and your funnels, your different pages, your courses, your, your shopping cart, all that stuff is all inside of that one big workspace container. Well, inside of there then, you can set up your site or a hub is what a lot of people call it. They call it a funnel hub because the whole idea is you're going to have a site with a bunch of links to places. You can have links to your blog, you can have links to your funnels, you can have links to other pages. Of course, you could have external links, you can have links to your courses, you can have links to anywhere you want. So again, as I keep saying here, think of this like it is a WordPress blog. If you've ever set up a WordPress blog, you know that basically you set up a home page for your blog and then you give that home page a custom domain and for that custom domain then the home page will be the only uh, the only page within your uh, within your WordPress site or in this case here within our workspace um, that will not have a path on the end of it so if I were to click on this link right here right now it would take me to my home page for this site, for this hub, for this workspace, it would take me to this singular page right here, which is the home page for my site. And like I said, that's exactly how WordPress would work. And then every other page within this workspace will have to have some sort of path at the end of it in order to make each one of these pages a little bit unique because every single page on the internet has to have a unique address associated with it. So I'm in the Funnel Builder program and one of the things they have you build in there is exactly this, is your site, is your funnel hub. And I just want to take a look at that real quick. So here's the one that I built out in there as part of the exercise. And you're going to see a couple of things here and I'm showing this to you on purpose because we're going to show you how to build this out in a minute here. But you have what we've seen before. We come in here, we got our homepage, the storefront, the blog, customer center. We got our courses, our modules, our lessons, all that kind of stuff all in here. And then we got a bunch of other sites down here at the bottom. Now let me go back to the homepage. Now from our homepage, which again, this homepage will be the root custom domain for this entire site, for this entire workspace with no path on the end of it. That'll bring you here to this homepage. And in here, you see, we got other pages that we're putting in. We got, well, we have a link back to the homepage itself. We have an about page, which we have as a drop down. We have programs, resources, mission statement, content hub, and reviews. And you're going to see these pages are populated along the side over here. And I will show you in a minute how you get them there, how you get them associated with your site instead of just being standalone pages. Because when you create any page, it automatically makes it a standalone page. You have to associate it with your site if you want to use it specifically in your site. Now, there's nothing that says you couldn't use it in your site, but if you want to see it here and be able to easily click on it, and go into it and edit it, you want to populate them all right in here just for ease of use more than anything else. So let's go into our site again here. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this home page. And what I want to do with this home page is I want to change it actually. So we're going to come in here and we're going to go to our pages. And as you saw last time, we set up a bunch of themes and we changed them all. Well, we set up a singular theme, a singular theme, and these are all the templates within that theme. And we named them all Hero Theme, Hero Theme with the template name after it. Well, now let's say for some reason you want to take this home template page and you want to change it, but you want to keep the original template. In the case of, especially if you're dealing with course lessons or some of the blog templates or something like that, so you got your blog template page, all this down here, 
you're going to probably want to make multiple clones of that page. And uh, just to let you know, you're going to see some stuff in here that I did regarding courses. And it's because I actually, tra I actually did all the filming for the course section of this training before I did any of the rest of it. And so I actually used that to kind of learn some stuff. So um, we're actually going to teach you some higher level stuff here than I even go into in the courses. But what we want to do is we want to just come in here to this one right here. And we want to say, we want to clone this. So we're going to click on clone and we're going to go to proceed. And once we get here, we'll just reload the page and then it should pop in here. So here we got our home template page. Now we want to do first is we want to not go into here. That's not what I want. I'm still not used to quite where everything has to be clicked on yet. So let's bounce back out of here. Let's click on our gear. And what I want to do now is so we're building out our uh, success path. So I want to change the name of this. So it's not just to do with the theme itself. Um, it's going to do with this workspace, this site that we are currently in. And so now we're going to say success path home page. And I'm going to make a capital P there. And so all I have to do, we don't have to change anything else. I guess I could probably want to change this here. Let's just see if we can change this to home page, see what it says, and we will update the page. And to do, let me see, let's go back in there and see what it did on the, as far as the URL goes. Okay, now where did it kick me to? Let's go back here, let's click on the gear. Huh, it's interesting that it opened up that other page the first time and now it opened up this page. So we got home page, okay, so that's good. We want the search engines to see it. Yeah, so in here, we again, we wanna come in, we wanna change our meta description, we wanna change our meta title right there and put in a sharing image. So let's just put in an image here. So we'll just say, let's go with that one there. You got your paths and then again, do we want to set a style guide for this or not? So you want to set all that up. And again, you set that up at every single page level, or as you saw in the last one, we can set it up universally, and then you don't have to change it anywhere, but it's up to you. But it's pretty granular what you can set up in here. So we got our success path homepage now. So now we want to go in here and we want to edit this. And as you recall, we had the picture of the uh, gal right here. So let's come in and let's take her image out just so we can have something different in here. Let's put in this ninja guy right here. And what I want to do is just type in here. Let's just type in here homepage. So then we know that this is the one that we changed it to. And you see up here in the name as well, we have success path homepage. And again, it's also showing here as a success path. I'm so a success path is showing over here as a standalone page at this point. So now let's click on this and save it because what we want to do next is we want to make this actually be the home page. So in order to do that, we have to come over here and I showed this a little bit last time, but that's why I'm going in depth on this right now. We're going to come down to our theme settings and we're going to come over here to our advanced settings and we're going to come down here to home template page. So that's what this had been called all along is your home template page. And so and we had changed it to hero theme. Now what we want to do is we want to say, okay, instead of using the generic theme template page that was given to us for our home page, we want to change it to this one. So there we go. We changed it now to our success path home page, and we're going to update our theme. And now let me see what happens if I reload the page. It may take a while for this to populate itself. Yeah, it probably will. But now if we go into customize right now, it should take us to our home page. And here we go. Now that new page we just created is now our home page on our site. And, and it kept the old page as well. So if we come back into our pages and we go to our themes, and we come down here, this one is still the same. You can see there's still a picture of the girl there and it says, I'm Jane Doe. But you also notice here, it's no longer showing as a standalone page where it had been before. Now, where is it? Is it here? It's not under our site pages. Nope, it's not under our funnel pages. Let me see if it's under our theme pages. Oh, here it is right here at the top. I went right past it. So what it did is because I took it and I attached it to the site 
as essentially, it's not the template anymore, but I said, this is going to be our homepage from now on. It put it back in here in where all of the themes are. So again, we could do the exact same thing because like I said, I already did some of the stuff with the courses earlier uh, earlier on, a couple days ago. So we got our demo test here. Well, we got our, let's use this one here, success path course home. So again, we can go back into our theme settings here and we'll come down to here and we come down to, okay, so this one right here, uh, course home template page. So we can open that up and the new ones you put in always get down to the bottom. So we could say here, success path, course home. And then from now on, when you went into customize, whatever we have set right here will be in there. And I'll show you again where that's going to show up. So we come in here to customize. I didn't save it on purpose there. So now from now on, when I clicked on where it says course home right here, it would then show me that new page that I had created and then associated it with this site to always show that to me as the main default page. But then of course, as you're going along and you're building things out like your lessons and whatnot, then of course you can still go in there and still override that setting. So let's say we set a custom page that we made as our preset page, our theme setting page in here, we set that. So we took a template, we cloned that lesson, we set it to show up here every time. But again, still, when we go in and we create a new lesson, we can choose any one of the other lesson pages, lesson templates, whatever you want to call them, we can choose any one we want. So again, once you understand how this works, that you can just clone things. And it, it seems like that these are all like template page types. I know they say in 2.0 that there isn't such a thing as a page type, but it does really seem that way that if you have a, um, like, so here's our course homepage. If you have a ho course homepage template, that's the one you have to clone in order to use it as your course homepage. I'm not sure about that, but it certainly seems that way. Uh, so there may be some special settings in there as well. I'm not quite sure, but it sure seems that way. But either way, I think just best practice is if you want to make a copy of a lesson page, use the lesson page template, clone that, and do it that way. So now let's go back out of here for a second, and let's go back into our pages, because there's a couple more things in here. So like I said, anytime you um, have like a theme page and you clone that page, it automatically sends it into the standalone pages. And then of course we have these pages in here now, because again, these were ones that I cloned out of the theme pages in prior trainings. And then we have our site pages. And again, the site pages are the ones that show up down here at the bottom. So here are our default template pages. And then here are our site pages down below it. Well, let's say we want to create a brand new standalone page. So we're just going to say we got a brand new page here. And they give you a bunch of templates. But let's just start from a blank page. And then we're going to say here, demo stand alone page we don't need a description don't need to set a style guide because it's purely an example but you can and here we go and now what did it do it kicked me into the editor itself and we can come in here and we can start building whatever we would like in here but you also see here it says demo standalone page now it's got a little gear after it and we got a couple more pages here as well. So this one has a little gear after it. Uh, well, they all do. And so let's click on this gear. And what we're specifically looking for is how do we make this a site page? So again, how do we get these pages to show up down here at the bottom so that we can easily build out our site, our funnel hub. We can have the pages that we want up here at the top inside of our, inside of our home page. Um, we have them right here easily accessible to us. Well, how you do that is just click on this. It's that simple. Pin this page to site pages in the editor. That's it. Click that and then we do this. 
And then once we do that, boom, what did it do? It kicked us now from the standalone pages where we were in the editor. It, clicked us, it kicked us into the site inside of the editor. So we went from the standalone pages into the site, and now we have our three pages down here that we have pinned. Now also what you can do is we can manage our site pages right here by clicking on that gear, and I had two more, as you saw, that were standalone pages. We can do the exact same thing here. We can click on this. Oops, let me confirm that. And oops, gave me an error. Let us go back. And what it did, even though it gave us an error, what it did is it stuck it in here. I forget which one. I think it was this, our new lesson course page right here. It just stuck it in there. Now let's say we don't want that in there anymore. Let's just click here. We will turn that back off. And now we're back into our standalone pages. So you basically have, um, you have basically the customization, the editor portion here for the pages, and then you have it for the site. And so the pages are just your standalone pages and your site is again your entirety of your site, your hub, your main homepage, your blog homepage, your lessons, and all of the other site pages that you want here to be able to easily keep working on them as you're building out your funnel hub. And then just one last quick thing here, we'll jump back in here. So again, we have our standalone pages, the two of them there. We have our site pages, again, the ones that would be pinned to the bottom on the actual site. We have our theme page templates in here, which we can clone. We can associate them with particular uh, pages in our site, or we can just leave them alone, let them sit over here in our standalone pages, which again, you could use these standalone pages anywhere and just link to them. They don't necessarily have to be part of the site. They could actually be part of a funnel. You could have some funnel built out here, and I, don't, I guess I don't have one in here yet. You could have a funnel built out, and at the end of the funnel, you could send somebody over here to a standalone page where they you know, get whatever. That might be a standalone page, might be a page where you just send them to um, get their digital asset or something after they've gone through the funnel. They can really be used for anything you want. So that's really it for the, uh, for the workspace, the site, the hub. Just always remember they're basically, uh, you know, the workspace is the big box. And then inside of that is your site or your funnel hub, your blog, your pages, your funnels, your courses, all of that on the inside. And then Again, just use one theme, take the templates that you want to use, clone them, and then if so, if you want them showing up in here as the default pages, make sure you set that under the theme settings inside of the um, inside of the site here itself right down here at the bottom. So that is it. If you have any questions, just let me know.